Here in the United States, we're a fairly young country. And compared to the rest of the world, we really don't have a, a true perspective on what is really old. Like if we see something that's 150, 200 years old, man, that's ancient to us. What if I told you that there was a place right here in the US where you could go visit a British church that is 800 years old, survived plague, civil war, uh, survived the, uh, the great London fire of 1666, and on December 29th, 1940, was hit with a German incendiary bomb during the, during the Blitz. Well, such a place exists right here at Westminster College in Fulton, Missouri at the Church of St. Mary the Virgin Aldermanbury. So to all of my friends in Great Britain, we've got one of your churches here. So this church basically lay in ruins after it was hit with an incendiary bomb during the German Blitz of uh, London in World War II and uh, really lay in ruins for the next 25 years. Well, in 1965, they deconstructed this church one stone at a time and brought it over here to the U.S. and rebuilt it. Pretty incredible story. Uh, right now, as you can see, they're doing some construction work and everything is closed down, but the people here have been nice enough to allow me to uh, come in and take a look and kind of share a little bit about the history of this church. Pretty pumped to get in here and take a look at this from the inside. Now, before we go into the church, I wanted to show a little bit that is down here in the church museum, which is in the basement of the church. So the church originally looked like this right here until it was destroyed in the Great Fire of London in 1866. It was rebuilt by Christopher Wren, who is a pretty famous architect. And uh, then if you go and look over here, you can see there's a little bit of a glare here. This is what the church looked like after it was hit with incendiary bombs by the Germans during the Blitz. Completely gutted the whole structure. And this is pretty cool. This was locked within the church uh, and you can see all of these pieces of uh, communion silver that were burned in that fire. So that's just a, a short look at uh, kind of the progression of what this church went through. This is showing what London would have looked like in 1940 and whenever the attack on the 29th of December was going on Churchill said this structure right here which is St. Paul's needed to be protected at all costs and right here that structure in red is the Church of St. Mary the Virgin Aldermanbury and unfortunately it didn't get the attention of the firefighters that uh, St. Paul's did and uh, ended up getting gutted by fire. 
Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is a letter from Winston Churchill um, saying that he's honored that Westminster College uh, would commemorate the speech that he made by uh, taking the Christopher Wren Church and, and relocating it here to Fulton. Yeah, kind of neat, just a, another extra layer to, to the history of this church. All right, we're making our way up this spiral staircase into the church itself that was originally destroyed in the Great Fire, uh, 1666, and then was pretty much gutted in uh, 1940 during the Blitz. And wow, look at it now. This is not a word that I use often, but this place is absolutely gorgeous. So what you're seeing um, with the pillars, these are the original pillars from the rebuilt church that was designed by Christopher Wren. The outer walls are all original. And man, there are just so many layers to this place that you really have to come here and, and see it for for yourself. Now, to me personally, other than the, the church itself, this is one of the more interesting pieces. Uh, this is a pulpit that came out of a Wren church and the craftsmanship is absolutely amazing on this thing, uh, which is why they have a rope keeping people from going up there. Uh, but the story behind it is that this was a gift to the United States from Britain after September 11th. Pretty cool story. And if you uh, look here, the oldest part of Aldermanbury uh, are these steps. Um, the medieval church, the 12th century church, was all but destroyed in the Great Fire of London in 1666. Um, but uh, these steps remained. Uh, they originally went down into the crypt uh, of the Wren era church, uh, but now have been repurposed and go upward uh, into the belfry. These 27 steps uh, are some of the oldest steps in North America. They date from the uh, 1100s, uh, the original St. Mary the Virgin, Alderman Mary. Shakespeare would have known these steps. It's really incredible. Okay, now, if you come to this church on like a regular tour, you're not allowed to go up these steps and into the belfry, but Tim was nice enough to allow me to come up here uh, just so that I could show people what it looks like. And this is a tight space for sure. All right. And this is belfry. So there are the, uh, the bells up there. Yeah, kind of cool. Okay, here's a little door here that is supposed to go to the outside of the church. All right, uh, little door, little door, 
Okay, I had to make a few quick adjustments to the lighting. I just walked through that little door right there. And here we are, up on the roof of St. Mary the Virgin, Aldermanbury. Now, you may or may not have seen this on some of the aerial shots, but this uh, ended up becoming kind of a staple of Christopher Wren's work, and that was to have a pineapple on his structures. Uh, it was a sign of hospitality. Now, earlier in human history, it was a sign of wealth because pineapples were pretty rare. But uh, yeah, here's an up-close look at it. Pretty cool. Okay, for anybody that has seen any of the videos, you already know my healthy discomfort of heights and we have uh, maxed out my limit for the day. Now up there in the balcony you can see this big old huge organ and Tim was telling me a really cool story about the man who built this organ. Uh, he was a firefighter in London during the Blitz was in the area of the church whenever it was burning and uh, the, the updraft from the fires was causing uh, these pipes to bellow. So it had a pretty haunting sound, I can imagine. So he was there whenever the church burned and then came back to uh, build the pipe organ. Another cool story here. Well, that was the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, Aldermanbury, right here in Fulton, Missouri. I'll tell you what, if you happen to be passing through this area and you're into history, this is a must stop. Not only do you have this 800 year old church that has been through so much, but there's also a section of the Berlin Wall. This is also where Churchill gave one of the most famous speeches of all time, so much history just packed into into this little area here so I learned a lot today pretty pretty fascinating place all right off to the next place so had to adjust the lighting a little bit I just went through that little door and uh, the, oh scared the ever-living crud out of me. Oh my gosh, this is not good whenever I'm up high. <laughs>